Pictures of it. That's it. <laughs> Go on, Sunshine, put your thumb up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Go on, turn it on. <laughs> <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're covering these three cars. Obviously you've got my car here, you've got Harry's Abarth, which is absolutely crazy, and then you've got the Cupra 280. Now these three cars are hot hatchbacks, so if you don't know what hatchback to buy, or you are on this video, just have a look at the hatchbacks, then this is a great video. So if you have got a Cupra and you don't know what mods and stuff to do, there's a few nice mods on that car, including the exhaust. He doesn't have a decap, but it does sound really, really good. And then you can see that the Abarth is nowhere near standard. So if you do want to see more about these two cars, then stay tuned in this video, because it's going to be a good one. See you've got an Abarth there mate, so do you want to tell us a little bit about it? Yeah, so it's a 2015 Abarth 500, so it's like the base spec, but um, due to insurance reasons I had to. And um, yeah, I've just done a few little bits to it, just to sort of make it how I want it. Yeah. Just sort of put my little touch on it, I think. As stock there, a little bit girly, so I just had to make it a little bit more masculine. Yeah, <laughs> a little bit more sporty. We associate together, but. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I can see on the front, the headlights, they're not standard, are they? Uh, no, so they're Euro Wagon headlights. They're pretty hard to get hold of now. Um, they're only sort of a cheap Chinese brand, so I've had to split them and reseal them because condensation issues. Yeah. Um, but overall, I think they look a lot better. They've sort of taken away the chrome surround that was in there. Yeah. So, um, no, I'm, I'm really pleased with those. Oh, fantastic, mate. And I can see as well you've got a splitter down yeah, there. so that's a Maxton Design splitter. Yeah. Um, I've also sprayed the fogs with just a yellow tint. Just the same thing again, it just makes it look a little bit different from standard. And then obviously you've got D-Crime on the whole car and your standard gel plates. But yeah, no, please a bit. Brilliant, mate. Okay hey mate, so now we're around the rear of the vehicle. Do you want to tell us what you've done? Uh, yes, yeah, so I've done, the exhaust has been changed. Yep. So that's a Toro Sports cat back exhaust now. Um, sprayed the tips black, just on the time of the decrime, which we've got down here with a boot badge. Uh, same with the rear lights as well. They've been sort of decrimed, I sprayed them myself. Um, so you've got the rear tints, wiper delete, gel plates, plate lights, other than that really. Oh, I've got the spoiler lip as well, that goes with the um, splitter on the front. Yep. So, that's matched then, yeah. That's and you also good. changed the light, didn't you, down the bottom? Yes, so I've got a diffuser light as well, so that's wired in to just come on as a constant light. I think you can wire it in as a flashing light as well, but okay. I don't want it to be as obvious as a big flash. Yeah, yeah. So, and you've done that yourself? Uh, no, that was Luke Meacham, so Meacham Automotive. Right, okay. Uh, he's, done, he's done a lot on this car, to be honest. He, he, I'll take it there for his feet, so. Oh, fantastic. fantastic. And you, yeah, you recommend him for the other yeah, Abarth owners. All right, let's go on the inside of the car. Okay, mate, so now we're on the interior. So do you want to tell us a few bits that you've done to your interior? Uh, so I've wrapped the dash in a 7D carbon wrap. So it's just a lot more realistic than a, just a normal cheap carbon wrap. Yeah. Um, I've got full sound system inside, so sound deadening in the doors behind the dash. 
um, speak like door speakers, tweeters, and all that been upgraded. That went to a company in Stortford. Yeah. Um, for a day, that was a massive improvement over stock. Um, then I've got a stage two short shifter as well. So that's height adjustable by about 30 to 40 mil. So um, you can pretty much change how long you want the throw or how short you want the throw in position, which is pretty cool. But other than that, on interior, that's pretty much as it is. And obviously, being a stock car, it's not too bad for a standard hatchback, really, is it? No, it's all right. So the side of your car, mate, is looking fantastic. So what have you done? Uh, so it's lowered on eye back springs. So 20 mil drop on the front, 30 on the rear. Um, so you've got the full D chrome. I've got the spacers, so 12 mil on the front, 16 on the rear. That's from TMC. Okay. Um, I've got the side indicators that are, like, are tinted and LED, so they sweep when they flash now. Uh, same thing, just a few little stickers, so little one there. I've got one going here as well, just sort of highlights the angles a bit more. Something more to look at as well. Um, then my third set of wheels, and I don't know what the actual thing is, but they're off a 360 Challenge Stradale Ferrari design, so them wheels are like the, pretty much the same design as those. So okay. I think Arbath and Ferrari made some sort of thing to use that design. Yeah, yeah. So, pretty cool to the Arbath boss, isn't it? <laughs> Definitely, mate. All right, mate, so thanks for coming on today. Um, I just want to talk one more thing about your car. So why have you chosen this car uh, over other hatchbacks? So initially, I didn't even want an Arbath. I wanted the Corsa VXR, and that's what I come from. So I just wanted that with a bit more power. But the insurance on it at the time was £2,800. Cool. So this come back, and I got a quote on it, because I did like these as well, and it was 900 So cool. I was like, oh, do you know what? You've got a... I just put a sensible head on and went for one of these. Yeah, yeah. So the power difference between the VXR and this, what's the difference? Uh, if this was stock, then I think it's about 60 brake. Okay. That's about 50, between 50 and 60. Yeah. So... Massive, massive difference in the yeah, brake horsepower is. then. And the MPG on this car, mate, what's that like on this hatchback? So if you're on a motorway, uh, basically the best I could get it is probably about 40 on okay. the motorway. That's good, uh, yeah. Around town, driving sensibly, probably about 25. But then obviously when you're like more on throttle and out, giving it a little bit, then yeah. uh, probably looking like low teens. Well, uh, cheers for coming on the channel. Oh, and uh, that's all right. And we'll go on to the next car. Perfect. Hello Liam, welcome onto the channel mate. Uh, so obviously you've got a Seat Leon Cooper there, so do you want to tell us a little bit about it? Uh, it's a 280 version, 2015, so it's one of the earlier models. And what's the miles to the gallon on the car? Um, average miles per gallon is about 33, I think. Okay, and what's the brake horsepower? Uh, 280. 280, so that's a good bit of power, and it's a 2 litre? Yeah, the same engine as a Golf R. And I can see that you've changed a few bits on your car, so do you want to tell us a few bits about them? Uh, on the front, we've got the Maxim Design Splitter, and then this bit's wrapped in gloss black instead of the standard colour. Yeah. We've blacked out the badges on the front and wrapped the roof as well. Okay, mate, brilliant. So now we're around the rear of the car, so do you want to tell us a few bits that you've got on the rear of your car? Uh, on the back of the car, we've got the Maxton spoiler lip, along with the Maxton diffuser. Uh, we've also got these little window spoilers I suppose, uh, the rear lights are slightly tinted, we've got black S badge and Cooper right in. Yeah. Uh, I sprayed this, had this sprayed gloss black because it was like the tacky plastic you get from the factory and it didn't go with the rest of the car. Yeah. And most not importantly the Scorpion exhaust. And do many people have them? A lot of people have them but a lot of people run them with decats, you don't hear many, <laughs> just a cat pack. Right okay, and is Scorpion a popular brand with the Coopers? Uh, yeah, I'd say it's probably the most popular brand. Okay. And did you notice much of a difference between stock and custom exhaust? Uh, it's just a lot louder than the standard 280 system. It's got two resonators and then a back box, whereas this has just got one res in the middle. Okay. And if nobody's got a custom exhaust and they're looking for one, would you recommend this one? Yeah, definitely.
brilliant. Well, let's go to the inside of the car and we'll check it out. So the interior of the Seat's are a little bit overlooked, mate. So do you want to tell us a little bit about it? Uh, well, you've got a standard infotainment system in the middle with a decent sized screen. And then I've put a short shifter on it as well because it's a manual. So, and that reduced it by about 40%, which is a massive difference from standard. I've also changed my steering wheel to a perforated level one rather than like the standard yeah. lever that you come on most cars. And it's also got the Seat Sound like upgraded audio up from factory. And is there any other little cool bits? Not really. I've got the mood lighting in my doors, um, which changes colour depending on which mode you're in. Oh, yeah. So you, what, what colours we got? Red and? It's just red and white. All right. Brilliant. So obviously the interior of the car is quite overlooked on the Seat. So if you're thinking between a Golf R and a Seat, in your opinion, what would you say has got the better interior? If it's the same year, I prefer the interior on these, to be honest. Okay. And the, obviously, the interior of the car, can see with your seats, you've got suede or Alcantara? Uh, yeah, suede. That comes standard? Yeah, these are one of the versions of seats you can get. You can get them in several different. Side of the car, mate, looks fantastic. So tell us what you've got. Um, Suspension-wise, I've got Volkland 35mm springs, along with 15mm spacers on the rear and 12 on the front. Yeah. It's got white line front and rear anti-roll bars as well underneath. Uh, I've got tinted windows all round, uh, carbon wing mirror caps and sequential indicators. And then carbon mud guards as well. Fantastic mate. And obviously changing the height of your car and everything like that. So tell us, compared to stock, what's the difference? It's a lot better. Before it, was, it handles well from standard, but with all the extra bracing and everything, it just in the dries a lot better. So what have you changed to the interior of your car? Uh, handling wise, interior I've got the rear K brace and I've got a front strap brace as well. Did you notice much of a difference? Um, yeah, in the front it just helps when going around a corner it's more accurate. You don't feel like the front of the car moving around as much, it just kind of goes. Okay. And then it's also got H&R front and rear anti-roll bars along with a like, front geometry kit. <laughs> And how does the geometry kit work? It basically adjusts it so you can change your alignment for a more aggressive road use, basically. Okay. Let's uh, go to the engine bay now and we'll see what you've done. see that you've changed a few bits on the engine bay mate so tell us what you got uh, there's only a couple bits really the main thing is the full integrated engineering intake which goes from the turbo straight to the intake yeah and then brad's personal favorite bit the racing line dipstick <laughs> <laughs> i love it mate and obviously i can see that you've also got something else tucked away at the back of the engine bay it's um, strut brace i've got a strut uh was a strut brace uk front brace which made quite a good difference when you're turning in to corners you can proper feel the front end now doesn't jump around as much and then also just got these gas strut braces instead of the standard oh, metal brace. so we'll get a little clip now of the intake as well um, and the intake on this car is a little bit special because it is very loud so we'll get a little clip in now <laughs> So I've showed you this car quite a lot. If you do want to see about my John Cooper works, then head over to other video. I will put the link for that in the description. And if you want to see about this car, then check that out. Thanks for watching today's video, guys. Uh, if you did enjoy the content, then please subscribe and like the video. Obviously, massive thank you to you both. And uh, hopefully we'll see more of these cars on the channel very, very soon. Okay, go on, turn it on. <laughs> 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 That's it. <laughs> Go on, Sunshine, put your thumb up. <laughs>